now we are going to talk about the capping of the new uh, generation of these exc of excavators. And the first thing we can note in this machine that uh, uh, the wide size of the glass in this machine, which helps the operator and gives the operator a bit of visibility. Um, with the assist of the rear camera, we can say that the visibility in this machine for the operator can reach up to 360 uh, degrees of uh, visibility. Uh, something else, this capping is made from the ROPS capping and ROPS capping can save the operator life in just in case if falling any uh, heavy objects on the machine or something like this. Let's see inside the cabin. Now we are going to discuss uh, the new generation from inside the cabin. What is the features? What is the advantage in the cabin? First uh, of all, uh, if you can see here now, we have uh, this unmatched visibility in, in this inside this cabin. So uh, this wide area of glasses, it enabled the operator to see everywhere around him with the help of the rear camera. So as we mentioned before, the visibility can reach 360 uh, 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 degrees. Um, then we will, we will when we uh, on the seat on this machine, we can see all switches, all controls and uh, this uh, monitor. The machine, when we we don't have any more uh, key uh, to sw open to to start the machine, we just has a ring, direct uh, swing the ring, and the monitor will start to wake up and say, "Hello, who are you?" So now uh, this machine can start with uh, a certain or uh, uh, authorized operators, and uh, for myself as an owner of this machine, I can. Uh, say this is an operator I certify him or I give him the authorization to I give him the access to uh, To operate this machine. We have two kinds of operators one We call him the master operator and the second we call him the standard operator the master operator uh, I can name him the owner of the machine the site manager or whatever so this master operator he has the authority to add or delete any other operators he can hire another operator, so he give him a profile on the machine with his uh, access code or access password. He put the access password, the, so the machine will be uh, can start with him. I have uh, a code to this machine, which is yes. This code, I start the machine. The machine said hello. You are operator one, and you are a master operator. This M here is. A master operator and it telling me that engine start is allowed as we can see here on the machine so at this position we can start the machine uh, the monitor shows all the need informations like the service or meters and the walk tool and all gauges and messages that need to be uh, sent to the operator after that we we need to start the engine start the engine by push the bottom down and hold and also we can stop the engine by pressing again so push to start and push to stop okay once we start the engine uh, this machine has something we call it auto warm up auto warm up that machine will start to warm the system to warm the hydraulic system and everything all the systems to warm it up to be ready uh, uh, to the work we can control this uh, degree and everything, every, uh, this information is described in details when we deliver the machine to the customer in the operator uh, training sessions. Okay, so now how can we add the operator, how can we delete the operator from this machine? If you can see here from the main bottom, we have settings and okay, we have operator setting, then we go to manage operator. What is manage operator here from the bottom manage operator because I am a master operator I can see manage operator so I can add operator or I can delete any operator from this machine okay so this is the first advantage uh, the other one uh, let's see here settings okay and the information what is the information? In the information here, we have the diagnostics and we have the current totals. The current totals, actually, the diagnostics is 
if uh, if you have any uh, problem electric problem or something the machine can't tell us what is uh, the issue okay and the current totals this is actually very important because in the current totals we can see here the total operating hours of the machine and the total operating hour of the engine so it has 10.5 hour operating 10.5 hour we just rotating the key and we never stop we never start the engine but we have actually uh, 10 hours of starting the engine 10 hours of starting the hydraulic uh, uh, pumps and 10 two hours only two hours uh, in travel motor uh, zero hour for a swing doesn't mean we didn't make any swing we already made uh, some swings but uh, uh, it, it, it didn't reach one hour yet so it, uh, it didn't count with us all this information is uh, indication for the operation of uh, the parts but what are we focusing more is the total fuel the total fuel is the machine counting the total fuel that consumed by the engine so i can make uh, like a daily uh, calculations or a weekly calculations we can take this and we can actually uh, calculate the actual uh, fuel consumption of the machine we have also uh, something very important which is the total idle idling tower uh, time uh, because some operators inside just starting the machine uh, uh, starting the air condition and they are not working with the machine or doing anything so it it counts idling 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 is operating the machine for nothing consuming fuel for nothing so i can have these readings and with these uh, uh, results uh, with these ratios we can uh, see if it's within range or, or not so this is a big, very big advantage for the customer he can control his fuel consumption he can actually track his fuel consumption of different operators um, something else is very 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 important which is the reverse fan what is reverse fan we talked about the uh, electronic electric uh, control uh, cooling fans and this electric control cooling fan we can uh, reverse the direction to clean all the radiator how we do it from uh, the from the monitor as we can see here from machine settings and reverse fan we can do it even manually manually means we are saying please reverse the direction now and for the auto reverse we can set it to reverse the direction every two hours uh, three hours one hours actually i don't like to do anything with this machine in the vdi or p or before uh, deliver the machine to the customer because we refer these to uh, 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 the site conditions at customer site um, the last thing that we need to talk about is some customers are very afraid of the new technology and the electric uh, system uh, they might say we cannot do diagnostics or something like this we will still keep uh, running with the, the dealer to send us his engineers or ET and so on and so on with the new technology uh, of the NGHs we have an integrated ET inside this monitor it can uh, tell us what is the code what is the diagnostics in the machine and when we uh, fix this code uh, or fix this electric part, we can do any kind of calibrations. We can do any kind of even the flushing, the ECMs, uh, putting any uh, software. Uh, we can do it by having the software on a deep stick and put the deep stick in this port, and we can flush the machine. Wind flash calibration, everything we can do it very very easily with no need from help from any others.